love, how are you? I'm Carol Ann and this is episode 7 of High School Musical The Musical The Series. Episode 6 was actually really good. It got me buzzing, it got me shook at the end. But all of them saved Miss Jen together. They wrote a song, they turned up at the school board meeting thing and they performed it and Miss Jen is saved. I'm so excited. Also like Miss Jen has got a last name that I feel like is going to be a big reveal. I can't wait for it. Seeing how much they've all grown in just a few episodes is actually really fun. The character growth I am here for. So yeah, I can't wait to get into it. The performance is getting closer and closer. So yeah, this is episode seven of High School Musical, the musical, the series. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please do. And if you have, thank you. And let's watch it. Ladders getting in the way. This could be the start of something new. They're not using them ladders as a prop, are they? The start of something new. Wow, what a performance. There's a lot going on. Came flashing the face. So that was a lot. I was living for every moment. Yeah. You're doing good. Make it work. And remember, may nothing ever block your doorway to heaven. Oh, I love that. He's blocking her doorway to happiness. I just need to pause it because my dog's playing with a toy behind the camera. Do not have our robotics team co-captain going home without her binder at the break. Robotics team co-captain. There's a lot. People Did you see Big that. Red? I'm on the debate team. I'm in the baking club. Oh, I'm high priestess of the Salt Lake Renaissance Fair. So meek. I love. So mild. Sword. <laughs> Whatever. I love it. I love everything about Ashlyn. The more I learn, the more I love. Three varieties of peach cobbler with a loving family. It's so large, your reds are not the right age. Well, I'm sure I can't compare to the candy DM bake off that we throw every year in my home, but I wish you joy nonetheless. And I wish you had some joy too. Uh, I find it's so strange, but also hilarious that this teacher is like really miserable, he's rude, all of that stuff. But when we find out information about him, he 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 seems pretty like regular. You know, he's like, I have a huge family and they all love me. I'm I'm inwardly really happy. <laughs> it's like, okay. It's like maybe try to be nicer to people then. Well at least your folks are sticking around. EJ's parents are treating my parents to a spa in Park City after dinner tomorrow. Oh, so EJ's parents are alive. <laughs> Wait, I was gonna say. Do you guys want to come over after dinner tomorrow? Like, She's got a free house. We don't want that. Should we keep it to a small group? Or oh. Oh, yeah, Ashley, Thanksgiving tomorrow. Everyone's invited. <laughs> oh, Carlos. <laughs> I love that. We're not keeping it to a small group. Carlos is announcing it. I was 16. Was the same as you. The soldiers had run through our province, but America was paved with gold. Yeah. Is it Grandma Vietnamese? Like, is it from the Vietnamese War? Happy Thanksgiving. Here's to always keeping on your shores. Yes. <laughs> Come on, Grandma, with the fist bump. This is nice, Dad. Yeah, you don't see a lot of hot wings and instant mashed potatoes in the history. I love this whole bring leftovers to Aunt Judy's single dad um, with the son some of my friends are getting and how they're doing the well. After party thing. And when you see a late night, you lean in. Eight o'clock. We roll hard. Is this the theater gang? <laughs> yep. He's got four rides. It's no problem. I suppose if you're lonely, you could just randomly text my brother for two. <laughs> oh. If you're feeling a Rick, you're okay. <laughs> I like that Ricky did mention that because I was on about on, on the at the end of the last one. One I like that I, I wondered how Ricky would feel, and Ricky's the one that's that's kind of encouraging him cute yeah it's really good to see how 
like when a family goes from like a two parent family to a one parent family you know there is a lot of a lot of stuff that goes on obviously i think his dad's coping really well and i mean i know he had those like five depressed days but they're eating a balanced meal i can see vegetables <laughs> well done dad <laughs> going to be talking about all the times I've cheated at water polo in my life. I learned a little I like that he's doing confessionals. During all that Miss Jen drama. I felt free. Be honest. I want to keep feeling that feeling. I always. I've been admitting everything I've done wrong in my life and it just feels right. I kind of like this. I hope it doesn't all blow up though. Thanks again for helping set this all up. Have These two I love. My Plus, favorite two. Guys. Throw a basketball at my face. <laughs> no. The only thing I'd ever throw at your face is a brighter spotlight. Because I like the way you sing. Oh, big red. That was actually so fucking adorable. Oh, big red is so precious. If any harm comes to him, I will be coming for that character that causes it. Oh, is he calling your mom? Are you calling your mom? No. I'm sorry. Shit. She's got a boyfriend. This is bullshit. Oh no. This is actually really fucked up. I feel so bad for him. Okay, so the whole situation. His mum has got a new boyfriend. Or maybe she already had one before. It's a divorce. Well, the thing is, Ricky had no clue about this man. He didn't know he existed, never mind his name. And then he's called his mother, expecting to speak to her, and a random man answers the phone. Not at all. They should have been introduced in a, in a, in a different way. Especially, like, this guy is like, oh, I've heard so much about you. Ricky's going to be sat there like, well, I've never heard of you. What What is my mum doing? My mum can't speak to me, but she, she's got time to have a boyfriend. I feel so bad for Ricky. I'm sure your mum loves you a lot. And your dad loves you a lot. It's high school drama. Well, it's not high school drama, to be fair, is it? It's just young people drama. It's when you've got parents <laughs> where their, their decisions fully affect your life. Oh, you poor boy, Ricky. He was gonna call Nikki and Nikki Nini, but he can't. Gina, hey. Hey. Come in. Come in. Oh, Gina, I don't want you to get your heart broke. Thought I could walk you to Ashley's. Gina proper likes him, doesn't she? He likes her as well, but he's caught up on Nini. Sorry, can I meet you there? He's going through some shit. Is everything okay? Yeah. yeah. Share, please. This will be fun. Well, not fun. Okay. Healthy. No. This is for Mama's new boyfriend. Oh. I'm really happy that he's sharing Sorry. this. Who told you about Ricky? I'm not sure you noticed, but um, my family's just me and my mom. She works at FEMA, so we basically moved whenever disaster strikes. I don't know what FEMA is. What I think we should do is go to the party and spend a few hours being drama dorks as we could go to You'll make you happy. Yeah. All of these kids are really great. <laughs> They're all such lovely people. That hat is really ugly. <laughs> That's too big. I'm not a fan. Okay. Um, but I please, I, I would happily see him wear it every day because I love it anyway. <laughs> No. What happened? This teacher is, is, is he also a liar? He's a big liar, isn't he? And the Mazaras were a little low on spoons. No. Does he even have a family? Happy Thanksgiving. Good day. Good day, Miss Jeff. That's that seemed theatric. Good luck with your robot. Oh, this teacher. Don't burn down my shop. I want the robot teacher to help her. Help her build some good, sh fun stuff. Oh, come on! Wondering is literally the best ballad in the show. And I low-key joke, Gabriella is musically. Stop. It is great. <laughs> I wish that I could write like that. Okay. Um, oh, you're you both great. Completely adorable song about how you don't not love 
someone. <laughs> yeah, that yes. was a one time. Maybe you should write something for yourself then. I'm serious. Nothing that about line there. The whole, maybe you should write something for yourself then. I feel like that's going to be like the peak of Nini's arc. She's going to find herself, do things for herself, love herself, be obsessed with herself. Uh, the song that she writes for herself is going to be great. I already know it. What have you brought, Carlos? Is it? Carlos and Seb turning up together is lovely. You guys? This is High School Musical. The choose a go. The what now? No! Okay, Let me play with you. To the movie, but the movie was on a screen. I, so I want to play this game. We're in the world. Oh! We lived in my bedroom. Wait, wait, so you've had this for 10 years? And I never actually played it. It's, it's so cute! Play. I'm gonna cry! Me too! Okay, so there are two teams. The East High Wildcats and the West High Knights. So... <laughs> Sort yourselves. Carlos, this game is everything I want to play. Let me join in. I'm so jealous. <laughs> Ashlyn and Big Red. Partners, game night partners. We all know what that means. I get a lot. I just happen to be a longtime fan of the South Side Night. It's the West Side. The West High Night. That was perfect. She couldn't even remember the name. She's just joined it so she can be near Big Red. I'm going to pause it there. I actually like EJ being very honest. It's like he's building a ladder to get out of this hole that he's dug it himself into over the past six episodes. But yeah, I'll be back for part two. Check the link in the description. Ta-ra!